Hello! Hi, it's me, it's I Hate Will, and this is Minecraft. Today we are on the iCraft SMP server. How do you feel about that, Mr. Pig? Quite the conversationalist. Uh, today we are in the nether because we have some very important duties to do. Last episode I had a few tragedies, but chief among them I fell in the lava while trying to recover Wither Skulls. Now I tease that Lukezilla showed us something very important, and it's something that a lot of people know, but it's something I did not know how to do. And now, I know how to do it. So we're going to turn around, and I'm going to show you what we're doing this instant. I have this set up. It is the start of an epic wither battle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. Um, and you know what you think it will? Don't solo a wither. Last time you fought a wither, it didn't go so well. He, you know, he can't hit me from right here. I wonder if I can just... Oh! No, no. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> Alright? Because we have a new technique. Let's try this out. You ready? I'm nervous. I could wreck everything for everybody, but... Huh? Hmm? Uh, now he's in, he's in the, he's in the bedrock. Like a fool. He's gonna gain power. Gonna gain power. And... And... Here we go! You, you idiot! You dang fool! Come at me, bro! Come at me, dumb! You big dumb! You big dumb! You big dumb! Yeah, get killed! Get killed! Got it! Ho <laughs> ho Oh. Thank ye, thank ye. We did it. We soloed a wither. Like a boss. Oh, let's go reset the machine. So that's fun. Uh, what you do is, you, you, you saw exactly how that works. You put soul sand down, put one block, put two. And then right before you put that third wither skull on, you prepare yourself. You say, oh lord, please give me the strength to hit this lever in time. And then once that wither guy is spawned, you hit the lever. It pushes his head up into the bedrock. He cannot hit you. He cannot harm you. And then you can do whatever you want to him. Fun! I'm lagging a little bit. I am uploading a binding of Isaac. My loud pug is in the room. He is snoring not too far away. Maybe I didn't prepare for this episode as much as I wanted to. Uh, but we're good now. Let's head down. Back to base. Uh, there we go. We're going to drop this thingy off. So, very excited. Very excited. To have my own nether star. I grinded out all weekend. Getting me three wither skulls. Because you know them things ain't easy to get. No not here. Not here. Them things ain't easy to get. Uh, where's their exit? I always. I get so lost here still. They're not easy to get. And then I needed. Uh, ore. I needed me some full blocks. So I went over to Zave's place. And just AFK'd there. Power went out. Because we had tornadoes. So I, I just, I was just not there. So all Saturday I just kind of stood there and uh, went out about my business, collected me a bunch of iron. And now we are good to go. And then today when I logged in, I came over here and I found this. Sorry for your bad experience farming withers. Dot, 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 dot. Those are ellipses. Five of them. A gift. Lukezilla. Another nether star. That's so nice. That's so great. I really appreciate that. Uh, so now we have two beacons. I already told him. It's not like I just was greedy. I told him, hey, I, I have three wither skulls. But he said just have, have, have it anyway. So we're going to have two beacons. i got to figure out where we're going to put it. What we're going to use it for. Uh, I'm going to do that off camera probably tomorrow actually. And uh, when you get back. Because it's only going to be a, a split second for you. But when you get back, we're going to have two full working beacons. And we're going to get started with our episode. Oh, oh, real quick before we go. Before we go. Added a roof to this. Don't know if I like it. Don't know if I care for it. 
I wanted something that looked flat from the outside, did that. I don't know, man. I don't know. Also discovered that maybe a tunnel... Not the best thing, because it's actually too thin here. Uh, and too steep, so we have to figure out a new way. I'm thinking maybe stairs somehow, somewhere. Possibly... Um, heading that way, and up and over. That could work. But we're going to figure out what we're doing today. And... We'll have two another, or we'll have two beacons set up when we get back. How about just one beacon? Is that okay? Cause I don't want to wait at the iron farm over and over again. Just, just saying. Just, just don't want to do that right now. Uh, we have haste. I did have jump, but uh, got a little sick. <laughs> God, I didn't like it. Kind of silly, really, for me to have. Don't need it. It's kind of fun, but... Uh, I think haste is more of a working man's... Uh, uh, status effect, so we're going with that. Uh, I never do speed. I don't like speed. Don't need to be quick. I get motion sick for show doing that. Uh, which I do suffer from, by the way. It's terrible, especially because I play this game all the time. Uh, so I did not want to do speed. Not necessary. And regeneration, I could go for that, but when do I really need it? I'm in my own base. It's so well lit up. And, uh, really, really, as long as I just have food, I'm okay, and I always got food on me. Uh, so let's take a look at this. I built this. Kind of plain. Not totally sure how I feel about it. Feel like I need to do something across here, just another layer that connects to this somehow. Uh, going around the sides, it's almost too much wood. I definitely have... Goodbye, Luke. I definitely... I believe that's Luke's camera. I definitely have a problem with this. Gotta figure out what to do with that, but... It'll come together. I just needed a tunnel to go through here... Into here. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I've been thinking... Maybe a storage room... Oh, good for Luke. Make sure you go check out his episodes. Luke is a recording machine. Go check that out. Uh, link in the description, as always, with the other iCrafters. But yeah, I was thinking storage unit. Or something. <laughs> something that leads down here. I don't know what to do over here. This, this just looks cool. Looking straight up. That is awesome. Uh, it looks better from down there, of course. Or from up there, of course. But, uh... Definitely potential here, so we're gonna do some thinking and figure out what we can do with it. But let's go back, because I've done quite a bit of work over here. It's really been more experimentation. Oh, let's look at this right here, okay? Uh, you'll notice we've got some spruce right here in the uh, wall. Uh, the wall is not touching that acacia in the back. That's because that is a backward stair. That's what I wanted. I didn't want it to connect at all. So if you want that same effect, just turn it. Turn the stairs backwards and put the wall in front of it. They will not touch. They will not touch. No, sir. No, sir. Um, was really gung-ho about this placement right here on this beacon, but I keep walking through it and I'm just like, it looks silly there in the road, but probably not going to move it for a while because I don't know. Uh, but let's take a look at this. Uh, this I'm very happy with. It's very simple, but... It's fine. I like these skinny little uh, stairways from time to time. Uh, but from looking at it from down there, it definitely needed something. So, uh, this was originally two. I turned it into a one. And just added the uh, the stone bricks. There's variations of the stone bricks with the wall and some dark oak fence on top. I think that looked really good. It turned out real nice, I think. Definitely more traditional. Now, you come up here, we got, of course, our... Our dark oak spruce pattern, which I also have here. Just a randomization of it, and then back to our stone... See ya! And then back to our stone walkway. Back over here. Now, take a look at this side, before I turn around. Take a look at this. This is originally what I had. Uh, just kind of playing on it. Oh, you saw a little bit. Just kind of playing on what I did on that first staircase. Really simple, really traditional. You know, yada yada yada. Isn't it a little bit boring? I think so. Look at this. Huh? 
Huh? Some of you anal folk, this is driving you nuts, but some of you guys are looking at this and going, Yes, I love it! Maybe not in that voice. Don't know where that came from. Yes, I do. Uh, <laughs> I think it turned out okay. I like it. It is... There's some there's some technique here. It's not just completely random garbage thrown up. I haven't finished it out yet, so let's go ahead and finish it out. Let's see. I'm going to need my dark oak logs. And some of my oak leaves. We'll finish that out. Together. Why not? Let's go down. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Uh... I got dark oak. That's what I need. Anything else? Some birch, maybe. That could be nice. Might clash a bit with the... Oh, 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 real fast. Gotta get rid of these eggs. I've just been coming down here, grabbing some eggs, and tossing them in here like this. I also added a brick wall right here. I don't know. Felt right. Felt like it's a, it's a good retaining wall to put. Made more sense. Keep the uh, dirt from crashing on top of our little little chickens there. Adorable. All right, so uh, here's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna stick to oak, I think. We'll put oak right there. Yes, yes. Okay, and then we put some oak right here. Um, shoot. Okay, let's go ahead and split this up. Let's do this. That should be enough fence, actually. Alright. Let's see. Let's think about this. Let's do... Some oak... Here. Dark oak, that is. And then some fence there. Why not? Why not? I think it's lovely. I think it's absolutely lovely. And... Um... This... Yeah. Yeah! You see? You see? You might not see. You might... You might be looking at this going, Yeah, there's... This ain't... This ain't nothing. What are you doing? <laughs> I might be thinking that. I think it's turning out okay. Alright, let's, uh... Hmm. We get up here. How do we get up? We go like this. We go like that. Oh, shoot! Okay! <laughs> I hate when that happens. Let's go back up. I'm on a half slab just to keep from mobs from coming in and to kind of utilize this look right here. Which is also pretty funky. We'll take a look at it together. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's see. We uh, do that. What was I trying to do? This? Yeah, I think I was doing that. Okay. Let's do... That. And maybe that, that, let's see, we have no more glowstone. I think it's downstairs. But we are going to do a copycat of that first glowstone set. And then I need to put something in the middle. So I think glowstone should go right here. We'll put a cobble here for now as a placeholder. Oh, 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 hi. Hi, how are you? What are you doing? What's up? How's it going? You new in town? Get wrecked. Alright, there's our glowstone. All these chickens, man. They get on my nerves. Alright. We come up here. We replace you with glowstone. A here. A here. Okay? 
Fantastic. Let's take a look at her handiwork. Eat you up. I'm just gonna eat you up. Let's uh let's just do the jump. Do another jump. Do another jump. Okay. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that, dude. I like that. Oop. Oop. Yeah, don't don't follow me there, son. I'll uh I'll I'll roll ya. That's what I'll do. Roll you right into your casket. Yes, sir. Okay. Dude, I like it. I like it. It's a bit busy. But I feel like it's an area that needs to be a bit busy. Yeah, we're definitely going with that. You know, the trick now is going to be figuring out what to do here. Because if you notice, I got like some slabs, stairs, and full blocks going along the side here to... Just kind of add a, a texture to it, even though it's all the same color. Well, variations of dark oak and, and spruce, but... Yeah, that's what we're doing on the side there. It's kind of like a uh, a jazzy, doesn't really make sense, rustic, modern. I don't know really how to describe architecture. I'm not an architect. But I feel like we got a, we got a style going here, and, and that's what it is. Alright, you get killed. And we'll take this all down. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and fill out the other side. Might be a while. Might have to take a trip to the nether to get some glowstone. Um, but yeah, we're going to finish out that bridge. And we'll get back and talk about it together. Okay guys, uh, we are in the nether because I need some glowstone very badly. Not going to finish the rest of that bridge on camera. You get the idea. We'll take a look at it when we come back for next episode, sure. Uh, but what I wanted to do, because I realize I've done 12 episodes now on iCraft and I haven't really introduced myself to y'all. Maybe you got some little little things in your head that you, you think you know already. Obviously, I have a bit of an accent, even for an American. It is a Texas accent. It is a city slickin' Texas accent. I am from Fort Worth. That is Fort Worth, Texas. Part of the Dallas-Fort Worth metropolitan area. The top 20 largest cities in America, last I checked. So, uh, occasionally, a bit of a rednecky Texas accent comes out of me, sure. But for the most part, as far as... A Texas standards go, I am a very sophisticated speaker. You might have already picked up that I am married, because I've mentioned that I have a wife, and we have our first child on the way, guys. Very excited. Very excited about that. My wife is uh, seven months pregnant. She's in her third trimester. She's just about, uh, I believe she's about to be 30 weeks I think that's the number. <laughs> Probably should know that. Uh, but we are we are in it. We are in it. Baby is starting to... Baby's been moving her stomach around for a while now. Uh, but now it's doing very dramatic shifts in her stomach. Like, like today it was like a... Like baby was just making the wave go. That was interesting. It's weird to think when you look at it. Inside, when you see movement and you feel it, you put your hands on it, you can feel it. Um, it's weird to think that that's going to be a person. That's somebody that's half me, half my wife. And f pretty soon it's going to have its own personalities, own thoughts, own fears. Own everything. You know, it's going to have its whole life ahead of itself. And it's starting out as just a, just a bean inside my wife. And that's amazing to me. That's absolutely amazing. As I think about it a lot. Uh, so yeah, I'm married and I have a kid on the way. So that's what we're trying to say there. I am a grown man, as you can probably guess. I am a, 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 a grown up. <laughs> I uh, went to a college called Our Lady of the Lake University in San Antonio, Texas. It was a fine place to go to school. 
didn't really find what I was looking for there. But uh, I think that was just more my own emotional stunted, my own emotional growth that was stunted. It wasn't the school's fault. I was what I was. Uh, but of course, I am much more emotionally intelligent now, so I think I'm fine. Let's see, we got some glowstone right there. We are close enough, sir. Yes, we are. Um, let's see. What else is there about me? I got three doggies. Three doggies. And I call them that. Little doggies. Got me a pug named Dell. Have an English bull terrier named Vedentine. Who's my favorite. <laughs> it's okay to have favorites. Love all my dogs, but we, me and Vedentine have a special relationship. Steph says that I'm her absolute favorite in this whole world. Uh, that she sees a, a love there for me that she does not see uh, between Vedentine and herself. So um, I have a feeling that the, the, it's mutual. She's actually asleep next to me, looking very peaceful and cute. Uh, we also have a third dog, which is a rescue dog. dog that grew up abused, was very sick, on the verge of dying when we got her. And we nursed her back to health. Her name is Lucy. And she's our little miracle dog. Yes, she is. She came from a hoarding house. A house of hoarders. Uh, where she was uh, one of, I think it was like 40 or 50 dogs. Out in the backwoods of uh, Texas. And uh, she somehow survived. So I think you guys got to know me a little bit better. Oop, got burnt up a little bit. If you have any other questions, feel free to talk about it. Or feel free to ask me about it. That's perfectly fine. I do a series called Funk the World where I, I get a little, bit, a little bit more personal. But I've been talking to my wife in it a lot more lately. And... Uh, I like to do at least a little bit of building if I'm not talking to anybody else in the ser in the uh, series. And I'm really just so focused on building on Highcraft right now that I can't do both series at the same time. Uh, so that's why I felt like maybe you guys should get to know me because I might start talking a little bit more personally during these episodes. I don't know. Uh, but if you do have questions, make sure you ask. I will answer them unless they are just completely... Stupid. I don't know if they're stupid, but uh, if there's something I'm not comfortable talking about, then of course I'm not going to answer it. Uh, but that's going to be today's episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. If you haven't, consider subscribing. Uh, next episode, I've been talking to Luke Zillow. We're going to do something special together, I think. It might be a little bit of time because i got to get everything in place. But when it comes together, it should be a lot of fun. But for now, this is Will. I am signing off if I ever leave this place. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>